So take these colors or leave them. The colors are not the most important part of this. The most important part is that you are unique and you are special and you deserve a home that makes you feel at home. I don't know about you, but I am still in shock that we're actually in 2021. I mean, how on earth did that even happen? <laughs> But now we're talking about the color trends for 2021 and quite frankly, things are a little bit confusing because as you look through what the paint companies are saying is on trend and what we're actually seeing people actually want, there seems to be some dissonance here. So today I want to share with you not only a little bit of an overview of what the paint companies are telling us are trending for 2021, but I want to share with you the colors that I see are trending with my own clients and the colors that I think you will actually want to use in your home in 2021. If that sounds like something you're interested in, don't forget, hit subscribe and uh, give the video a thumbs up and let us know down in the comments section if there is a room or a project that you are excited about getting some paint inspiration for. All right, let's jump in. Okay, first of all, I have to grab my phone because there is so much paint information out there right now, and I think it's really interesting to look at what the paint companies are saying. Now, paint companies are, I think it's a little bit difficult to be honest with you. Now, I can tell you my colors that I am using for my own business, and that's pretty easy for me to tell you. These are the colors that my clients want to use. This is what I'm recommending. We are just simply a slice out of all of the world's design ideas and inspiration and all the thought leaders in the design world. Everybody's kind of got their perspective, right? So when paint companies need to come out with a color palette or a color of the year, I really don't envy them so much because I would say that it's going to be pretty hard to pick one color for everybody across the board. But I do think they'd give you a good palette to look at. And those palettes give us a really good look into what is trending in general. And those trends are interesting to look at and I think you can take them or leave them. So let's look first at what some of these other companies are recommending to us for 2021. One of my favorites that I like to look at is Bare because I really, really like their one coat marking paint. If I can paint a wall with one coat, why would I bother with two? <laughs> now my paint guys will tell you that they prefer some of the other companies that we will be talking about. But for me, if I'm painting, I really like this stuff. So let's look at their color trends, which I think they did actually a really good job. They've got colors like smoky white and almond wisp and um, seaside villa, Sierra. What you're going to notice is that all of these companies have colors that are a little bit softer. They're a little bit more muted. These have like a softness to them. And I think that that softness and that softer side of the palettes that they've given us are where they really have nailed it for this year. When I look at these, I can see like Maple Glaze, Kalahari Sunset, Saffron Strands, Barnwood Gray, I really see those colors being used in the Bohemian style. I, I absolutely see where they are coming from with these colors. They're just not colors that I necessarily would use myself and I don't really see myself recommending them to my personal clients. So that's why I think that you have to kind of look at these colors and say, this is what's right for me. Don't take any of this too seriously or to heart. It's meant to be it's meant to be a way of inspiring you to look at colors and see if they ring true with you and whether you think it's something that you want to be using or not. Okay, so let's move on to Sherwin-Williams. This is the company that so many contractors want to use. And oftentimes when I'm talking to you guys on our virtual sessions, you're telling me that your contractors want to use Sherwin-Williams and you want to be able to use their paints. Sherwin-Williams put out a color mix color forecast for 2021, a master palette. I think that that's really interesting because they're not telling you this is what's in style. This is, they're telling you this is what's going to be in style. This is something that 
they think could be in style. And I think that's a really cool way to actually word that because it's hard to say what will be on trend. And what would have been on trend if we hadn't gone through this craziness of 2020, I think we were actually on a trajectory to have a lot more color in 2021. That's where we should have been. But most of us just want a more muted palette. We want something that's softer. We want something that's more natural. So a forecast, they're basically saying, you might wanna look at these. You might end up wanting to use some of these, but we can't say for sure. I think that's a very interesting way to go about it. Non-committal, <laughs> let's go with that, right? Okay, so some of their colors, I really like their color, pure white. Messenger Bag is a really great color. Morris Room Gray. Um, the Modern Gray, I think is a great color to be looking at. I think they actually did a pretty good job on these. Um, Urban Bronze is very brown, and I think that's actually a really good color to be looking at because it's got a brown undertone. We're seeing that generally trends are moving towards a brown undertone, which is what I've been telling my clients for about two years. Their Oak Moss I think is a great color if you wanna really accent with some green. I think what's also interesting about a palette is that when you're looking at this, don't always think this is the color for my wall. Um, this could be a color for your furniture, it could be a color for your accessories, it might even be you know, a pillow or a candle holder. Um, these are just, they're just trying to give you an idea of the overall palette you might want to use in your home. And just like the other ones, they've got Canyon Clay and Natural Tan and Java, and you're seeing this very natural hue. That's the trend that we're seeing, things moving towards that more deserty brown tone. Now, my favorite company is Benjamin Moore, and let's move on to them. Benjamin Moore does something that I think is absolutely genius, and that is they not only tell you their colors of the year, they tell you what colors are trending, what colors are most popular, and what colors are most popular by region. Now that is information that I feel like we can all really, really use. So way to go, Benjamin Moore. This is why if I have a company that I'm having a painter use, I always use Benjamin Moore. When I look at their most popular colors, I see colors that I am using almost every single day of the week. I see White Dove, Chantilly Lace, Simply White, Cloud White, Swiss Coffee, White Heron, all those. And then we start moving into like these light, taupey colors. Classic Gray, Pale Oak, Edgecomb Gray. We move into a little bit of the bluish tone with a Stonington Gray. We've got Coventry Gray. Those are their most popular colors. And those are the colors that you guys are asking for constantly. What neutrals should you use? And these are such a great peek into colors that you should absolutely be using. They're the most popular colors for a reason. Now, let's look at color by region. They're Southwest. Okay, I'm dying to open this. Okay, let's see. Let's look together, shall we? I haven't even seen this before. Okay, Southwest. Let's see what they say. Earthy Southwestern colors pair beautifully with handcrafted textures, adobe, wood beams, and other majestic regional influences to evoke a serene, sun-baked warmth. Okay, now I'm seeing some yellows. Wow, okay, uh, yellows and woods. That's not a color palette that I personally would be leaning towards, but when you scroll down, atrium white, baby fawn, soft satin, stonington gray is back there, palladium blue, uh, driftwood, charcoal slate. Yeah, I mean, I think that these color palettes are gorgeous. And I think it's so interesting because if you have a home that has a certain style, you may not be able to follow every single trend that's happening or else it's not gonna look right on the home that you have. That's something that we talk about all the time on this channel is understanding your style, but also understanding the style of your home is really, really important. And here in Atlanta, we have all different style homes. We don't have one specific style. I think that this is quite possibly some of the best information that I've seen in a really long time. Now let's let's check out the Southeast. Let's see if I feel like this would nail, ooh, ocean, coastal, Condor's driftwood grays, glimmer of frosted sea glass, briny waves of blue, 
I don't know about you, but I suddenly want to go to the beach. <laughs> We've got white opulence, white dove, pure white, Yarmouth blue. Does that nail the coastal side? Probably yes. I think those are good, just classic safe colors if you're just wanting something that you can just rely on. I wanna take a minute and share with you my personal color palette, the color palette that I'm gonna be using with my clients in 2021. I'm gonna provide you a PDF and a link down below so that you can find the PDF if you want it. But I've created my own House of Valentina colors of the year for 2021. These are the colors that I'm craving. These are the colors that my clients are craving. This is the palette palette that we just all seem to be yearning for. And I used Benjamin Moore colors because you're going to end up with an absolutely stellar product that is going to be reliable for years to come. And I think that you're going to really love these colors. And again, this is not sponsored. It should be. They should be paying me for this, but they're not. So, you know, this is my honest, <laughs> this is my honest to goodness recommendation. So I broke my own colors down by color families. My first color palette was in the pink families, and I've given you guys everything from Desert Light, San Clemente Rose, Savannah Clay, um, all the way to really, really deep, deep shades of pink. It's fun because it is brown, but it's got a pink undertone, and I think that that spectrum will really help you see the color pink in a different way. This is a way to really take that color palette and expand it in your home. You might find yourself aching for those deep, rich colors, and some of you will want these really, really light shades. And again, these are colors that you might not be putting on your wall. You may, especially in like a dining room or a bedroom. It might be a great accent color, but either way, if you find yourself craving pink, I feel pretty good that these colors, this little spectrum, is gonna just give you that sort of warmth and cozy elegance that we just all seem to be craving right now. Now, I also gave you a blue spectrum. It's all the way from that blue veil to Amsterdam, Shaker Gray, Normandy. Oh, they kill me with these names. They're taking us places with these colors. They just know that I'm gonna fall in love with something that takes me somewhere. Of course, Hail Navy and Midnight Oil is a really great, almost black that has a bluish undertone. And I did this spectrum for you because a lot of times you guys are saying, I don't know which colors really go together. And this will really help you see if you like the blue family, you can use that whole spectrum. And honestly, I think you could use this entire palette interchangeably and inside your home and it just works. Don't think one dimensionally on your greens. Think third, fourth dimensionally on these. These can be used in so many different ways, but if you're wanting to add some green to your walls, holy moly, definitely check out Mountain Moss, Rainy Afternoon, Mohegan Sage, and Topsoil. Those colors on your wall will be so deep and rich and earthy and cozy. I think that you would absolutely love them. Now, the browns, just, you could buy any of these. These are gonna be gorgeous neutrals. The browns and the neutrals, basically you could buy any of these and be perfectly happy with any of them, no matter where you really live. These are really, really great neutrals that look fantastic on the exterior of your home. They look great on the interior. They'd be great on finishes, furniture, accessories. They're good accent colors. I really love these great neutrals. We've got everything from natural cream and simply white. Cloud Cover is a white that I am using so much right now because it's a diffused white. I love this color. I've started to use it so much. I'm even finding myself airing to cloud cover over simply white, which was the color that I used so much last year. But oh, if you're looking for a great, like just soft white, cloud cover white dove, those are fantastic. If you're wanting a little bit more color, a little bit more warmth, thunder, calm, gray owl, oh, gorgeous. And then the, that deep creek and that Cape May cobblestone, these are fantastic colors for your doors, for your exteriors. This is These are all gorgeous and will not let you down. They're going to be fantastic colors. Now, 
Of course, I had to have a gray palette, of course. Now you're gonna see that these do have kind of, they're almost like a neutral. They're not too blue, they're not too brown, they're kind of down the middle. And that's because we're in a transitional period with colors. And some of us just need these colors that are gonna take us through this transitional period. So I've got on there, Pelican Gray, Coventry Gray, Stormy Sky. Stormy Sky, if you like the color in this room, Stormy Sky is the closest I can get to the color that I'm standing in. This room that I am standing in is Hematite by Bear. It's a great color, but a lot of times you guys wanna have the equivalent to that in Benjamin Moore, and that is where Stormy Sky comes in. You guys know I love wrought iron, Nightfall, and of course, black. It's just such a pure, amazing color. So these are my colors of the year. These are the colors that I will be recommending when you guys are doing the virtual sessions with me or if you're hiring me here in the Atlanta area to work with you. These are the colors that I think that are really gonna take us through 2021. It's what we really, really want. I love what Benjamin Moore has done. I love what these companies do when they tell us what's trending. But hearing from you is actually what I really wanna hear because you can tell me what you see yourself craving, what you see your friends using, what seems to be in the stores around you because you have access to places that we can't go right now. And I think that it's so interesting to hear your perspectives. I think that that's just so fascinating. And I would be so delighted if you'd write that down in the comment section for me and for our community. That's just so cool, isn't it? I love it. Okay, so before I geek out too much, I get so excited about the world and all the different people in it and all, you, you guys, we're all so unique and special. And so that's why I like, ah, these trend videos kill me because I don't want somebody to feel left out. I don't want somebody to feel like they should do something because it's on trend. Our biggest trend for 2021 is living in an empowered home. The home that empowers you to live your greatest life story. And I know that 2020 was crazy and rough. So we need to wake up in a home that makes us feel empowered to take on 2021 and to live that great story. So take these colors or leave them. The colors are not the most important part of this. The most important part is that you are unique and you are special and you deserve a home that makes you feel at home and empowers you to live your greatest life story within those walls and empowers you to, when you go out, that you are the best version of yourself. And that is the power of home. That's what I believe in more than anything else. So I hope that you have found some inspiration in today's video and that you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit subscribe, go visit us on Instagram so you can see what we are up to because this woman has got a crazy bone in her body and I'm telling you, there's gonna be some changes happening around here. I wanna try some things out. I wanna use this home as a test tube, as an artist canvas, as I often say. Try things out and see if you guys love them. So you'll be seeing sneak peeks on our Instagram accounts. And um, I think that's it for today. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you again for stopping by and I will see you in the next one. Bye. This is Marquis. This is... This color that I'm standing in right now is, the color that I'm standing in right now is, oh my God, I can't even think straight. <laughs> the color that, the, this color on the walls that I'm standing in is, I don't know what my problem is today. I just woke up tired, I guess. <laughs>